Hi, my name is Ashley Polanco. I'm currently a film student and will be briefly discussing the three stages of filmmaking, pre-production, production, and post-production. Not only are these stages vital to film, but the tools used to create them are as well. One of them being the computer. The first step during pre-production is writing the script. Writing screenplays by hand and with typewriters were the only options before personal computers took off in the market. Most films are about two hours long, and on average one page of a script is equivalent to one minute of screen time. With that being said, in order to have sufficient amount of pages to make a story, there would need to be about 120 pages, but who's to say it couldn't be much longer than that? Without computers, we can all just imagine how time-consuming a script would be. Computers are convenient for storing virtually endless amount of documents, and screenwriting software have made it even simpler to write and format scripts than ever before. After pre-production comes the production stage, where the action is captured on camera. Cameras were once hand-cranked in order to keep the film rolling, and sound was not synchronized with the film, meaning that sound was not recorded along with the images, at least until 1927. Over a span of over a hundred years, we went from this to this. Nowadays, making movies is possible for almost anyone, as they can buy camcorders with flash memory cards, that can be inserted into a computer or laptop, or ones that can record on mini-DVD, and so on. Without the technology of computers, digital cameras and camcorders will not be able to function. See, inside lies a processor that receives signals from every button and switch we press, similar to how a computer's CPU responds to given commands. Finally, post-production takes place, where the captured scenes on the camera are edited. Back then, film editors had to manually take the roll of film and place them on a flatbed, such as a Steenbeck, where the film is then displayed on a monitor and can fast forward or rewind to view the scenes. If something did not look right and wanted to be changed, the editor was to remove the film from the Steenbeck and splice it. This involves cutting and taping different parts of the film together. Personally, I edited film this way, and it is definitely the most hands-on experience. However, for a full-length feature film, digital editing may be the easiest and fastest way to go. Now, thanks to editing software like Avid, Adobe Premiere Pro, and Final Cut Pro, film that has been digitized into the computer can be edited with multiple variations of scenes and shots, animation, and special effects. Now that we went over just a few steps of what it takes to create a film, I think that all filmmakers can really appreciate the convenience that computers gives to all of us.